Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another great video for you guys and before we start off again I just want to thank you guys for coming out to the twitch um, You guys have been totally totally awesome with it. We've been dominating the twitch scene for brawl stars um, At least for the NA region uh, we, We've been we've been doing crazy like we we were doubling everyone else you guys are showing a ton of support Everyone who ends up going to the twitch you got you know you guys are saying you guys love it uh, you guys like the face cam there. I know you guys want to see that more often on YouTube or at all on YouTube. We're, get, we're getting that underway. You guys already know. But I have some other thing that I would like to request you guys to help me with. So I do have my own Bobby BS Discord server and it's currently at 950 members. Now the goal for, for this week or for, even for today is 1,000. I want the server to hit 1,000 members. Once it hits 1,000, I'm going to do a $25 giveaway. So... I'm going to put the link in the description. I hope all of you guys can join the server. We're going to be doing a giveaway. It's going to be really fun and dope. But anyways, join the server. And today, what we're going to be doing is playing alongside none other than the homies Patchy and Jigsaw. We're going to be playing with Tick. We're going to show you guys how effective Tick is on this map. And without further ado, let's hop into the games. Okay, so here we go on, to, on the first map. And we're facing a Piper named Terry Tickler. <laughs> Um, but Piper's actually not too bad on this map. I was playing a lot of Piper yesterday in Brawl Ball. Um, I know a lot. I got a lot of DMs yesterday, um, including from OG, because we faced some Piper in Brawl Ball. We went one and we went one and one while he was making his video, and he thought I was gonna be making a Piper in Brawl Ball video. Um, that's that's not the case. I'm just you know enjoying enjoying some nice Piper. You know it's always a challenge to play in a mode where. He's not, or she's not too good, so it's always fun. Looks like Jigsaw's getting tapped over here by the Piper. Um, anyway, so let's talk a little bit about Tick and a little less about Piper. So you guys can see I took out basically two of them. Jigsaw got the last shot on the Piper just just by throwing, like, a couple... <coughs> sorry, a little bit sick. Um, by throwing a couple Tick um, shots at them. And that's because the area denial is insane on this map. So you guys can see there's very few choke, choke points. There's only three choke points, and they're two, and all of them are like two tiles long. Let's see if we can take out that penny. We will be able to. This is always a tough situation when you're somewhere around uh, like close quarters with tick. But anyways, it, the choke points are insane, so they basically always have to hit at least one of your tick shots when you throw it down onto a choke point. They can't avoid it. Usually, they they have to hit two actually, which is pretty insane. So I had a little bit of a lag out, and all of a sudden. The Leon Zombie. Now I did get better Wi-Fi. Let's talk about that a little. I got better Wi-Fi. It's been a lot better. That was like the one, the one of the very few times it went out. We were able to one push. Sorry, you guys couldn't see like 10 seconds of it. I just had to restart my app. But anyways, GG. Um, we didn't talk too much about Tick or show you guys too much about why Tick is OP. So let's hop into the second game and let's really get more in depth into it. Berkham. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're facing some European guys, so it's going to be... There is going to be a little bit of delay. Jigsaw is going to go left side so you can grab that bolt. Uh, so I guess we're going to cross over into the right. So Tick doesn't do the best against tanks. Um, tanks don't usually kill us. It just takes a little bit longer uh, to kill them. So we are on the right. It appears Jigsaw came back to that right side, which I don't know why. He's supposed to be um, on the left. And he also gets countered by the tank, so I really don't know what he's doing over on our side. But anyways, we're just going to be shooting towards these choke points because obviously they have to run into them. We're just going to put that super next to the bull. It's not going to do much. We're going to be, well, although we are going to be able to take out that bull. Um, we are going to be hit by a 2k shot, which is really unfortunate. We were able to take out the uh, penny, but we died way too quick. We do really good damage to the safe as we can just stand behind a wall and just lob our shots to, um, towards the Ike. So we do want to definitely try and stay alive during those pushes. We do have the barley really low. So something else that's really good about Tick is we can actually outrange the barley. So he can't hit us in a lot of instances where we can hit him. So that's a really, really big advantage that Tick has. I'd actually say Tick is the best thrower in the game right now. Before I thought it was barley. But if you're just looking at lanes, like who can hold lane the best, Tick is far beyond what barley can do. So I'd actually say Tick is the best thrower right now. We're able to take out that penny again. We're just going to drop our super over here. It's going to go for the barley. Hopefully it hits this time. It won't be able to. But this is exactly where we want to be. We just want to be lobbing shots towards this Ike. We're going to be able to finish it off. And that's going to end the second game. So you guys saw a lot in that game about what you want to do um, on the offensive end. As well as how to hold lane. It, it, it really differs. If you're, if you're facing someone like a bull, you definitely want to be more passive. You know, you can let them 
start to get a couple bolts at the start just because you, there's no way you can take it out with your damage per second but eventually you're going to be able to take it out gain position as where if you're facing a barley you can push up you know that you outrange him and if you're avoiding his shots properly you will be able to win that lane fairly easily so let's hop into the third game and hopefully we face another strong team like we just did okay so here we go into the third game and we're facing double tank throwers, so our comp might struggle a lot against this one. Uh, so let's move up. We're going to just shoot towards the mid, since I feel like that's where the mic's going to be. Okay, so we did a little bit of good area denial over there. Uh, we're just going to shoot this bolt. Really good job over there by Jigsaw. Uh, let's just go and pick this guy up. You guys saw that Zar, or I think Zar is the tank. Yeah, so Zar, there he is again, popping his, uh, his new star power on the bull. I don't know which one I like more. I was going to cover a video on that today, but there aren't really any good bull maps, so I'm going to stay away from that one. Uh, we're able to do 28,000 or 2,800 damage to Zar, just keeping him low so he can't really push up too hard. Just walking around in that bubble. It looks so weird right now, just because we're not used to it. Uh, they're doing a really good job so far, though. Just going to drop this down. Zara is one shot currently, but I don't think we're going to be able to take him out. They're doing a really good job at holding the bolts. Um, Jigsaw and Patrick are kind of struggling with holding their lanes right now. It's really hard to hit Zara with that final shot too, because when you can, when you really just sit down and focus the tick shots, it's really, really easy to juke them. So that's something that's obviously a disadvantage. You don't want to just be shooting at a lane. You always want to be like shooting cross lane and stuff like that, so that it's hard to for them to juke your shots. Uh, it looks like they both have supers, so this is really not looking good for us right now. I'm trying to tank, so maybe the Primo will also go down, but it's not looking like it. They have a lot of DPS, and that is going to end the game. So GG's to them. That was a really good game from them. They have a really, really good comp, and they're really good players. So let's hop into our fourth and final game, and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's hop into our fourth and final game. I'm going to go on the right side because that's where the dynamite is and we want to go lane against a thrower as long as he stays on this lane, that is. There's that twitch noise. I hope I didn't break anyone's ears with that one. Um, I, got, I really got to find a way to turn that off. That's like bothering my ears. Um, but yeah, it looks like Patchy is going to go down. He's not playing very well, which is very unfortunate uh, for you guys. Uh, and obviously for myself. Hopefully we can take out this Dynamite. He does do a lot of damage to our Ike on the offensive. So if we can take him out, that's going to be really good. We weren't able to do it. It looks like this is going to be a very, very strong defense. Okay, so I'm actually a little bit surprised that that bolt decided to charge in. Um, they did some decent damage, but it also costed the bolt his life. When you have a bot... You do a really good job of pushing them back, obviously, since since they have to defend that bot. And you could hold middle ground fairly easily after getting it, so... A little bit surprising that he kind of threw away that middle ground in order to do a little bit of extra damage. I personally wouldn't have done that, but... You know, it happens. People do that type of stuff. Come on, get their super. Okay. Even though my super only did, like, 200 damage to that guy, it's, it's very important that I hit it due to the super recharge. Um, it really helps charge back your super again, so that's very important. We do have a bull behind us, which obviously is not ideal. We're just going to chuck uh, our shots towards the save. Patchy and Jigsaw both got hit over there, so we're not going to be able to end it on this push. So I'm just going to go back to the middle over here and try and maintain some position. Keep this Jesse decently low. Okay, we're going to go down over there. Hopefully, and Patchy can hold down the fort, Patchy and Jigsaw. It, I think we should be fine. Our comp is better than theirs as well. Jesse isn't too good on this map. Going to be able to get my super down. It's not going to be able to get a hit, but it doesn't matter because that is going to end the game over there. Now, I actually learned recently that a dynamite and a bull charge together does a grand total of 55%. So just in case you guys are in a situation where you guys are winning like 30% to 11 and you guys get the bot, make sure you're defending and not attacking because we actually lost to it. I did not know they can do that much. So definitely be very, very 
careful about what's attacking your safe when you're not watching. But anyways, that's going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tick gameplay. Um, that's going to be it for today. I got two really, really special videos coming up tomorrow and the day after, as well as I got some, some competitive gameplay. I have um, the semifinals and finals for North America of PBL. You guys know I love PBL. I know you guys love PBL, so the finals are today, so check that out on Coach Corey's channel. Don't forget to join the Discord server, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.